The Lord be with you. And also with you. Good morning, everybody. It's really good to be with you, whether you're at home or whether you're in school. I think there's a few more of you in school this week. And I know that uh, there are some children from nursery back. So it's really good to have you back at school uh, and be with us. Let's begin with our lighting the candle, which is a reminder that we're bringing ourselves into God's presence. Reminding us that he's with us always and that Jesus is the light of the world. We're going to sing our first hymn and it's the hymn Abba Father. The words are Abba Father, let me be yours and yours alone. One of the things that I really enjoy doing is bird watching and living here at Lund Vicarage uh, it's a really great place to watch so many different kinds of birds. In the Vicarage garden we get woodpeckers uh, and we get tree creepers. Uh, those are birds that you don't see very often and we get lots of blue tits and robins and this year um, we had a wren who laid her eggs in the casement of the uh, water hose that I use for watering the garden and she laid six eggs there. So for until the, from the, the, the eggs being laid until they were hatched, uh, then I couldn't use the hose pipe. Um, also, we've got a kestrel. Uh, and a sparrow hawk, which um, sometimes is a mixed blessing because the sparrow hawk likes to feed uh, on the little birds. And one of the real kind of highlights this year is that opposite uh, our kitchen window on the tree opposite, there's a nesting box. And this year, uh, a sparrow nested in there and laid her eggs in there and hatched her fled, uh, fledglings. Sparrows were once very ordinary in this country. 
They were one of the most common birds around. That's why they were called the common sparrow. They're not colourful and they don't do anything spectacular. Yet, God speaks about them in the Bible. There's no mention of a kestrel or a sparrowhawk or a blue tit or a robin in the Bible, but an ordinary little sparrow is mentioned. In fact, it was Jesus who had something to say about sparrows. In St Matthew's Gospel, Jesus says that God knows when a sparrow falls to the ground, when a sparrow anywhere falls to the ground. He cares about each common little sparrow. And so Christians believe that this means that God cares for everyone, not just for the special or unusual people. Now, recently in this country, in the United Kingdom, uh, this last few years, the number of sparrows has dropped off in many areas. So they're no longer very common at all. They've become special and unusual. So let's just reflect on that, on uh, what, what I've spoken about the birds and particularly the common little sparrow. I wonder how many of us feel very ordinary like the sparrows. Maybe we think that we're ordinary to look at. Maybe the things that we do seem very ordinary. Maybe we don't think that we particularly shine at anything. However, just like the sparrow, the only bird that Jesus talked about, we are special. Each one of us is unique. Now, I wonder if you know what the word unique means. Just think about that in your thoughts for a moment. What does the word unique mean? Well, it means that we are the only ones just like us. There's no one else exactly like us anywhere in the world. There's not a single other human being like us have the same fingerprint as us. We are unique. Just say that word to yourself. We are unique. It's a wonderful thing, isn't it? And it's incredible to get your mind round. I'm looking at each of you now, each one of you. Unique. That's you. That's you. And there's no one else like you. You are unique. So let's put our hands together now as we pray. Dear God, we thank you that you are, that we are special to you. Thank you that you see us, love us and want to care for us. Thank you for ordinary little sparrows. When we see them in the garden, please help us to remember that we are special. Amen. Perhaps one of the things you could do over the coming days is to keep an eye out for how many different birds you see in the garden or when you're out walking and make a list of them. And perhaps particularly uh, have a look at, keep account of how many sparrows uh, you can see. Now we're going to sing our hymn that speaks about all the creatures of God uh, being special. It's called If I Were a Butterfly. If I were a butterfly, I thank you, Lord, for giving me wings. And if I were a robin in a tree, I thank you, Lord, that I could sing. And if I were a fish in the sea, 
I wiggle my tail and I giggle with glee But I just thank you, Father, for making me me Do the actions if you like For you made me a heart and you gave me a smile You gave me Jesus and you made me your child And I just thank you, Father, for making me me If you know the actions, do them if I were an elephant, I thank you, Lord, by raising my trunk. And if I were a kangaroo, you know I'd hop right up to you. And if I were an octopus, I thank you, Lord, for my fine looks. But I just thank you, Father, for making me me. For you gave me a heart and you gave me a smile You gave me Jesus and you made me your child And I just thank you for making me me If I were a wiggly worm I thank you Lord that I could squirm And if I were a billy goat I thank you, Lord, for my strong throat. And if I were a fuzzy wuzzy bear, I thank you, Lord, for my fuzzy wuzzy hair. And I just thank you, Father, for making me be. For you gave me a heart and you gave me a smile. You gave me Jesus and you made me your child. But I just thank you. Father for making me me. Very good. You sang that beautifully. I could hear year three singing it from here, uh, where I am. So well done. We're going to put our hands together now as we say our school prayer. Bless our school, O Lord. Help us to make it a happy and peaceful place for all. Help us to make it a school full of love, love of one another, love of life and love of God. Let us remember that as we live, work, learn and grow together, you are with us in all we do. Amen. And we'll say together the grace the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. So we put our hands together now for the blessing. May Almighty God smile upon us. May he give us his blessing and his peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, everyone. It's lovely to be with you. Have a great day.